is no script. There are no rehearsals, nothing is staged and everything we show you is real. So join us as we investigate the Siemens Orphanage. We had a walk around the building earlier this evening. It's a beautiful building, it's huge with so many different aspects. There's the mortuary, the nurses' quarters, the psychiatric wards, um, the, the list goes on at the bell tower. Um, so we're hoping this evening we'll have some really interesting results. This now derelict orphanage in its heights was home to 450 orphan children. During World War II, it was a military hospital. As any derelict building with such a very past. There are tales of apparitions, voices. The place I'm not really looking forward to seeing be the mortuary. Um, again, for, just for, for the things that happened there, when we were in there, it was just a really dark feeling. Um, you know, but again, I will be going in there eventually with the team and see what we can get there as well, but not on my own. I mean, and you see the four shots we've got here, well, on the one that's above us now, on that one we've had a lot of bright shots, uh, yeah. like bright orbs go across left and right. Some of the very fake ones, you know, that are virtually out of sight, yeah. but very large, go across the screen. The corridor, we've had um, a large light coming from the, the doorway on the right. Now, I'm still trying to debunk that as a, a, mm -hmm. a moth or something. This is supposedly the top top cut of these cameras is the staircase at the very bottom of the corridor, which is the end of the, this one. Now this is where the, we're hanging from. Now from there I've had a bright object drop down this way. What's up? Okay, I'll, I'll come down now. Right, the girls who are just down the corridor, apparently, think they may be the presence of somebody. Somebody felt pushed and uh, they want to just sit and set a couple of recordings, so we'll just do that now. I remember we came down here and um, well, we sort of felt something. Yeah. We can't quite hear it because we could hear you talking right. in the background. But also it felt like someone just pushed my arm slightly. Well, let's crack on. So, Sean, who wants to go away? I'm staying with you. Okay.
I'm going to climb inside there. I've got Jamie with me. Jamie, you, you can close the door. Yeah, no problem. And uh, leave me in there for a couple of minutes. I'm going to see if I can uh, get a recording. I'm just going to record in there now. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. The spirit replies to a comment I made saying that's right. on the wall, we've got a little altar here and a picture of Jesus and things. So let's so give this one a try. An encounter what sounded like a young girl in the chapel who proceeded to say, candles burn. First mass is now Thank you for that. That was beautiful, wasn't it, Jerry? What was that? That's a, a lady's voice. But then when the call came in about Alison, we had to abandon this session and make our way to her. That's right, Joe. Hello. What you say? Yeah, we see you. Can you send oh, yourself and uh, John to where they found the dream sequence in Hollywood? Wait, I don't know where they are. I have to go back up in a minute and uh, speak to John. I'll get hold of John and I'll send him up there. Is that where you are? The Hollywood? Yeah, we need to be both really quick. Okay. I've got to go and with my team who seems to be in a bit of a problem, so I'm going to be out very, very short to continue to speak with you. So thank you for that. Um, I'll be back very, very shortly. I've got to cut this short because um, Alison's a bit of a distress apparently for some reason, so I've got to go and sort that out and then I will be back. Right, do you want to give me a torch and let me have a little look around? See if I can find my way out. Yeah, you're right now. I don't know about you, Jamie, but after that little run back a bit, we, we was in the chapel as you heard, got the, the radio call, and quite it's miles over here, isn't it, Jamie? I said, tell me about it. I feel like I've done a marathon. Have I? Yeah. You were here as well when Alison mm -hmm. became affected or felt unwell. Do you tell us what happened? She was sat there feeling really hot. Then her pulse was racing. 
and then she just didn't want to go any further and that's when we come to get you. Okay. And do you know where about all this started? Yes. Do you want to take us there now? Yeah. Okay, me, Heather and Jamie are now going to go down to where Alison was, where she felt unwell. Um, let's see what we can see. Stop, stop, stop. Someone just said something, I heard it. Now, this was validated when the camera picked up a reply from a spirit that said, you're a good lad. I got a strong sense of negativity, which I was kind of associating with something that had actually happened, but it may have actually been that I was in the presence of an idiot. With something, with something that had actually happened, but it may have actually been that I was in the presence of an idiot. Okay, we're now, this area of the building is, in fact, it's the naughty boy corridor where children misbehave just to get put into these these little rooms. They're very, very tiny rooms. In fact, let's go and have a look at one. Okay, here's one of them now. It's very, very. Tiny. It's not much bigger. In fact, it's probably smaller than the closet. Do you want to shut me in one of these rooms for a minute, Rach? Oh, I certainly do. <laughs> well, Rach, you've just come in the door now. You see how small it is? It's barely got any standing height. At all. Right, so you're going to leave me there for a second? Mm, I am. Well, then, I'll be. <laughs> nice. I can't imagine how in a child staying there for a length of time. It must have been horrific. I'm just going to. Uh, Energy around me right now. I've not got anywhere to bend down or anything, so. <laughs> These are very, very, very small rooms. listening closely to this recording it did sound very much like in there possibly there could have been children's voices this wouldn't have been too much of a surprise because there's documented evidence to show that children did die in these small rooms <coughs> How long was you guys held in here? Sounds like that was days. Let's have another listen to that. I heard that. Oh, I've got to get out of here, guys, because I can't even. Oh. Oh. Right, let's try that again. I just heard something, guys, in here. It sounded like. And it's pitches up on here. It sounded like a kid. Very young. I actually heard it with my ears louder than what it's actually pitched up on this recorder, but it is there. No, it was in there with me. Listen. It's very faint on here, but you'll hear, hear it. That in the background. Yeah, but that was really loud. I heard it with my ears in there. We were walking down there, me and Rachel headed that way and the door on the left hand side just rattled slightly didn't it Rachel? Mm, and the floors aren't the, the solid floors are not the solid floors. Yeah. Show me. Yeah. Yeah. And the 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.